Do you need Oculus Quest 2 custom made clip on headphones? Or should you just use your headphones instead? Or just not bother with this and save some money and just use the built in speakers? Well, that's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Diamond, hence the big old diamond I got back here. It's really hard growing here on YouTube as a small creator, so if you can help me out by subscribing, I promise to do my best with these videos. These are a pair of some clip on headphones made for the Quest 2 that you can find on Amazon for about 42 bucks. These VR headphones were given to me for free to review for you guys, as well as some covers. And I'll be talking about these later in the video. You might want to stick around for a giveaway. Now, what do they do? Are they comfortable and are they worth it? So these basically replace the, the built-in speakers that come uh, obviously with uh, with the Quest 2 with a surprisingly good audio quality that sit right at your ears You actually don't clip them on you like kind of slide them in right here and they stay there So you slide it on not like how you're seeing in the video I thought you had to remove the whole strap instead. Uh, you don't have to do that. You just slide it on Like this. Oh, and by the way, they're also compatible with the elite strap if you have that So after I clipped it on I went over to YouTube and played some 8d audio. It sounds great It has a 360 degree surround sound so I can actually hear like the audio going all around me after that I looked up some songs with like the bass boost and they actually performed better than these headphones I have right now. I will say that these headphones don't work that well uh, with the bass, but nonetheless, these actually surprised me. The bass was pretty powerful, you can feel it. And just the overall sound was good. So yeah, those are the pros, but what are the cons for this? What are the bad stuff? Well, mainly there's two. Uh, one is that they don't completely cover your ears. Like they don't press up against your ears, uh, like headphones would do. So if you try pressing it against your ear, they'll get louder and it will cut off the outside noise. To some people, this might be good because that means that over time your ears won't get, you know, sore. But to try to fix this problem, uh, you just kind of have to spend a little time uh, adjusting it just the right way, seeing how far you have to clip it on, seeing how much you want these things to twist. Oh uh, yeah, so by the way, these things can uh, twist. So like forwards and backwards, uh, up and down, and this little thing can move too, just a slight bit. And of course they can move out and in uh, for every time you go into the headset. So the second problem I have with these is that it has a kind of a cheap quality. You can tell they're made out of cheap plastic, really light, and you just gotta be careful not to break them. But of course in their defense, if they did use a better material, it would make the headset heavier. And that's actually one of the cool things about this headset is that it's really light. So how do these compare to just using your own headphones? Well, the good aspect is that your headphones can completely cover your whole ear and remove the outside noise. And of course that depends on what headphones you have. But if you really want to use your headphones, I think the best ones would be expensive uh, headphones, you know, that you know that have a good quality with a removable cable. This cable is not removable, but some are. And the good thing with that is that you can buy on Amazon a cheap little audio jack from mail to mail so that the cable doesn't get in your way. So that's kind of the good side with using your own headphones. But the problems with using your own headphones is that for one, it's more of like a two-step process. So first you gotta put your headset on and then you gotta put your headphones on on top of it and from when I used to use my headphones uh, for VR gaming it got really tedious and it got kind of annoying because then sometimes the cables just get in the way or you just have to blindly kind of try to see where the audio jack is and try to plug it in which leads me to the second problem the cable gets in the way that's the reason why I stopped using these I I honestly prefer just using the the, the default speakers on the Quest 2 than these because the cable just gets in the way and especially when I'm like trying to play Population 1 or just other games where that it requires you to move a lot, the cable just gets in the way and you have a risk of tearing the whole thing off and even risking that your own Quest 2 can break. But these clip-on headphones remove these problems. So I would say that overall they are a better choice uh, than just to use your own headphones for most people if you know what I mean now What about just using the built-in speakers? Well, yeah, we all know that that's not the best audio solution So if you want to have a great audio with an immersive VR experience I think that these headphones are definitely a buy and they're worth the 40 bucks you spend on them So yeah, like I said if you want to buy this product and support my channel at the same time Please go through my affiliate link. So yeah, like I said at the beginning of the video I'm thinking about doing a giveaway for this extra pair of cover that was given to me So as you can see I already have like the cover uh, on here. I gotta say it works pretty good. If you guys want me to do this giveaway and want this product Then try to get this video to 69 likes and comment something like hey do this giveaway I want this product. I don't know some of that and you can find out more details on my discord and on my future YouTube videos So make sure to subscribe. Hey, if you lower your subscriber are still here watching this I will need you to do me a favor each time I post a video I need you guys to go over there watch it like it and comment something like 
I don't know, first, or I love this video. I don't know, something like that, or something that shows me that you guys are watching this now. And that'll help me out with my videos, but it will also help you guys out, uh, getting a higher chance at winning any future rewards I will be getting, like this giveaway, like this giveaway, for example. You guys will have a higher chance winning this or maybe some future merch I will be selling really soon. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, then please comment down below or join my Discord and I'll make sure to answer you there and subscribe to my channel, Diamond.